Hello everyone and welcome back to Next Space Rebels where I'm going to continue my quest for the ultimate engine. Just a reminder, I have finished the career mode. It's just that I wanted to go back and make sure that nope, uh, that we got this one engine in the sandbox mode or the creative mode so that we can use it and see its specs and maybe it can save us some trouble and we can maximize our payload to orbit. I want to see what this game is really capable of. So anyway, that is the quest. We just need that engine and in order to get that engine we need to get to rank revolutionary or whatever. We need 200,000 followers I think it is. Uh, so we're halfway there but obviously it's a long way. And yeah, I am tempted to try that multi-limb thing again. However, I noticed that the tags that are involved in that, spider or uh, stuff like that, um, I think skeleton maybe? Yeah, skeleton's also involved. Well, we tried it too recently, so I have to do a whole bunch of other uploads before I try that again. So we're going to have to come up with some other technique. And so this process where we're in right now in this game is sort of grindy if you want to get to the ultimate engine. However, it's not grindy in that you're not exactly doing the same thing over and over again because of the tag system, right? I mean, it's not like you're launching the same rocket. You do have to come up with a new rocket because you won't be satisfying the same tags. You have to... Uh, you know, you use this one two uploads ago, so you can't use it again. So that is a good idea as far as avoiding the the grindiness of it. You do have to be creative, if you will. So it is an interesting technique, come to think of it. Uh, so yeah, we've got this for using a mannequin and combining it with 10 other parts is, <laughs> has been annoying me for quite some time because I keep trying to do that and it doesn't seem to work. And I don't know why. So there's that. The bottle flip is probably going too far. But in the last video I discovered that if we just combine enough epic tags it'll be alright. So let's see. Um, which category? Some of them don't seem to have categories like this space shuttle. I would love to launch the little space shuttle over and over and over again. But it doesn't apparently have a category or it's unrevealed. Aspiring, aspiring. Let's aspire. I want to go for an altitude of 80 kilometers and a distance of 42. We'll throw a space shuttle on. Using only the bike structure set is cool. But do we want to use the bike structure set or the pool set? I think we'll just go with the pool set unless there's something else going on. Uh, I'm curious about the question marks, and we haven't used that in a long time. But I'm worried about the 10. Whenever there's a 10... Somehow I never counted right. Five different pool slide parts. Okay. Okay, we'll try that combination, because that's also cool. Let's see. Uh, okay, so people mentioned that I should have a tag log. There are two different angel tags. They need to fix this. Three uh, Using three car parts is also cool. We, we should do a car one later. Well, let's begin with the shuttle. That'll be small. I think it's, yeah, it's non-aerodynamic though, which sucks. Oh, no, we can only use pool parts, sorry. Oh, but then this is a structural part, so we can't do those. Right, the space shuttle counts as structure. Gosh darn it. Okay. Well, we can still do five different pool slide parts. It doesn't say that it has to be only pool slide parts. Using the Technojet is cool. It doesn't have to be just a techno jet, so all right. Well, we gotta be hiding the shuttle in the nose cone. Okay, well apparently these are not five pool slide parts. Okay, um, somehow if we we have to work these in. Okay, we've got the tropical paradise thing. We need to use a techno jet, but it's not gotta be our only engine with this much mass, unless we have quite a lot of turbo pumpage. We'll use two on the side here. 
but we'll also use a compact engine. I think that'll do for 80 kilometers. We gotta reconsider the orientation of these. This is interesting because maybe we should just have the techno jets be dummy techno jets that aren't connected. I mean, I don't know how serious it is about the word using. But we're gonna have to do extra plumbing in order to. We'll have to combine tanks through here and then split them up again. So, I don't want to do that. I don't I don't think we need these tanks. We can probably go with the truck fuel tanks instead. Hey, let's use oxidizer for once. Now, let's see if well, Yeah, let's see if it accepts it with just the Techno jets being carried instead of actually being used. Well, that's an experiment now. Yep. I'll put a pump. Just a small pump. Interesting, I thought the pump would increase the thrust. Okay, so we got so we need a gate. So I can shut off the engine at the right time. Okay, well, assuming we get off the ground, the rest is just accomplishing the task. So, we have to get to that altitude, 80, and that distance, 42.2. Let's see. Uh, oh. Oh, yes, uh, the two engines. Um, maybe we shouldn't... Uh, I want to see whether it's smart enough. We'll, we'll see whether it detects that I'm not really using the Technojet, and then we'll revert if it turns out we don't get that. I... I don't know if that's how that would work. Um, yeah, I don't know if it'll count the tickets. I, I wish it would show the... You know, when you have a special task, it automatically shows the right information. Having a little bit of trouble there. Uh, we've got the gate on, so... Go. Oh, it's not enough thrust. It's tough with the oxygen to predict how it's going to go. At least it seems balanced between the oxygen and all. It's going up very, very slowly. It was close, it was just not quite right. <laughs> it's funny. Well, we'll see where it goes. May have to revert. Well, I should tone down that. But we should go up some angle. get the required distance. I don't know if it's gonna get to 80 kilometers like this, we'll see. I think it'll get to 42.2 on the distance though. Maybe we did too much on distance. Ah, uh, we did not get to 80 kilometers. We did get the distance, but not the height. I think I'll, I'll just pull it in. Oop, nope, wrong thing. Uh, finish. Back to design. Okay, so, bigger pump. We certainly have the structural integrity necessary since we've got the pool parts. I don't know how the shell's gonna do, though. Maybe I should connect the techno jets. Maybe I should just have one techno jet and connect it. That'll be easier. Yeah, I'd rather still see if we can get by without actually connecting the Technojet. Oh, maybe maybe we'll have the, give the Technojet its own dedicated fuel tank. Just to make it happy. Here, it'll have this little bottle tank. That's a weird sort of situation, but let's go with that and see how it works. Alright, launch. Oh, right. <laughs> Right, the techno jet is not connected to the gate. Whoops. Okay, anyway, no more techno jet. I forgot to tune down the gimbal. For now, I'm gonna cut out the engine. We'll see where we go. Uh, the distance is too far, though. I hope we don't overshoot what we wanted. Uh. Uh, not what I wanted. 
Uh, we're not gonna get to 80 like that. Uh, I need to be able to zero out the pin. Uh, nope. Nope. Okay. Uh, oh, no, we're not getting to 80. Hold on, let me redo this. Uh, to retry to launch. Alright. So, launch and go. <laughs> Weird launches. Weird launches in this game sometimes. Oh, we'll just go this way. This time a little bit steeper, since I think we overshot the distance that I wanted. Okay, turned off the engine. Well, we've passed 80 kilometers, but we've done too much, I think. I think if we pass, like, 100 kilometers, he'll go with Karma Online instead of the Aurora one. And distance is way far too. We'll see. Maybe if I just finish now? Let's see. Um, oh, we got Marathon and Aurora. Okay. Marathon, Aurora, Astronaut, Tropical Paradise, and Techno were the ones that we wanted. Um... I'm just gonna go with video number 126, okay? Let's see. So we got the tags we wanted. And... Almost a million. Almost a million. It was a good combination, so we don't have to go with the viral tags necessarily. Reaching a speed of... 7,270 kilometers per hour. Hypersonic. Aspiring. I like aspiring. I aspire. Reaching an altitude of 690 kilometers. We could go hypersonic exosphere. And there's question marks. So, aspiring and smart. Unfortunately, we already combined a bunch of aspiring things last time. Distance of 10 kilometers. Well, we're gonna have trouble confining it to that uh, when we've got that much speed. Cross. Combining two rectangle-shaped parts to create a sh cross shape. Okay, well, we'll try that. 25 structural parts. Complicated. 25 structural parts. I'm thinking about this bike structure set, but let's see if we can buy a tag. Let's see. Lucky. Top altitude of 7 meters. That, I don't want. Not in this context anyway, because we're already going for 690 kilometers. Okay, so wait a minute. We've got this cross one that's combining two rectangle-shaped parts to create a cross shape, and then a T-bone creating a T-shape. What is with these people when thinking that that is smart? Okay, uh, fine, we'll T-bone as well. We'll have a cross shape and we'll have a T shape. Alright. Let's go with that. So, tag tracker. Unfortunately, we're not getting any good epic ones. Complicated, T bone, and cross. Okay. I mean, overall, the plumbing, I think, will work for us if we just use the one that we just flew. But we'll toss some other stuff in, use a more efficient engine. I'll stick to the oxygen to see what happens. But mainly we need some crosses and such. Well, I think I've got to run a ladder on the side for the plumbing. Connector. Well, I like a connector. That's good. Alright, but as far as the T-bones and all that business, I think we'll just stick to PVC parts, and also to satisfy the count. That looks like a T to me. Here. T and a cross. Both intimately embedded in the thing. Yeah, it's, it's satisfied. It's satisfied. So, okay. Um... Then we have to just dump a whole bunch of structural parts. I don't see aerodynamics, anything... There's a little bit of stuff going on here. 
I don't know, maybe we should just put a whole bunch of nose cones. Let's see, is it different, different parts? Any structural parts, so that's fine. No, that's a lot of those little nose cones. Hmm. Oh, it's already complicated like that. I wonder if I put this here, it doesn't mess up the T-bone or cross or anything. Okay, it got complicated. Now the question is whether this rocket can get to a speed of 7,270 kilometers per hour. That it should. And then 690 kilometers altitude. So just making sure I know what kind of kilometers per second that is. I think that's two. Two point oh one nine. Okay. Okay, launch. Baron location. Let's get the information out. Since we're going straight up, we want to basically pass two kilometers per second at least, but we'll need to go more than that to get to the altitude we want. Okay, launch, and gate. Very smooth. No need to do anything except for go straight up. We've already passed the speed, I'm sure. Okay, onboard camera. Might as well. I'm gonna cut the engine. I think we've got it, but well, we'll see. Okay, well, I can finish right there and we are still at the correct speed at 690 kilometers. So, that, though it's... I don't know about the top speed. Here it says, well, that's our total record speed, but top speed, th these numbers are always weird. Anyway, upload video. So we want exosphere, hypersonic, uh, cross, complicated, and T-bone. So let's see. Wow, wow, whoa, 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 that's a record for views for me at 4 million and then 33,000. Well, now we're talking. Okay, so that's a nice combo. Unfortunately, we can't do that again. <laughs> uh, okay, what else? I wanted to try the PVC thing. Well, let's see, let's see. This one is uh, reaching an altitude of 100 kilometers. Uh, which we can do, obviously, and that's, again, smart and aspiring. But I'm guessing I'm running out of smart and aspiring things since I keep doing those. Using a trash part and reaching an altitude of 100 kilometers. Well, those are very compatible, though, and that's also aspiring, so let's try that. Karma Online. Space Waste. I'm writing these down, otherwise I'll completely forget what they're called when I select them. Trash part. Tough with the trash parts, they like to fall off. So it's again smart and aspiring though, which is troublesome. Now we have to find more smart and aspiring things. Hopefully some of them have been, uh, which got, uh, open for use because we haven't used them for a while. Could just use a leaf blower. Using an engine... Okay, professional. And this is using an engine... Fuel tank... Oxygen tank... Pump... Connector. Seems like we've already been doing that, but I don't know. I don't know why. Is it only one of each? Maybe. But then what's the connector for? But the, I guess for the oxygen. Hmm. Reaching an altitude of 40 kilometers. Well, that's not compatible with the Karman line one, so we can't use that. 
distance of 10 kilometers. Well, it's possible. Speed, 3,530 kilometers. One kilometer per second, a little bit less than one kilometer per second. Well, skeleton is ready to go if we want to do the creepy things. We only need to get to 100 kilometers. Maybe it is the time to try the PVC. But then I would like to do both of the PVC things since... But maybe they overlap too much. Let's go with DIY. Only, only PVC. I don't know how well we're gonna be able to pull that off, but... Um, oh, let's get another tag while we're here. Stop telling me your fee. Jolly. I did not want that. Okay, only PVC parts. Lovely. But, uh, okay. Well, uh, no, let's start with the better nose cone. We need a fuel tank oxygen. We need a whole works as far as the plumbing is concerned. I still think we'll go with, we'll go with a single truck fuel tank. The two truck. I mean, it obviously overshot though with the two fuel tanks. If we have just one oxygen cylinder, that means one third of the fuel. We'll go with one third of the fuel. So that means we were using two of these, 460. So we're looking like 150 ish is what we want. Car fuel tank? It's not great, but. Car fuel tank plus a jerry can. Arm online, space waste, so we need some sort of trash part. I think this is a time to break out the lampshade. Um, professional? Blackbird will have to be done in flight. And DIY. Okay, well, we've got some stuff here. Can it say stable? I don't know. It's been a while since I only used PVC parts for a rocket. <laughs> we just need to go straight up, so that's a relief. We do need a trash part. What's the most structurally... Uh, actually, uh, the lampshade is not a trash part. It's actually an other part, so we can't use that. Structurally sound trash part. The funnel, the keyboard is pretty good. Oh, the stool is better. The stool is the most structurally sound trash part, so we will use that. Now, what kind of coverage does it give us for plumbing? No, not much, so we'll just uh, shove it in there. Um, pretty high up, so that brings our center of lift, uh, center of mass up, and well, the center of lift is already too high, so we're gonna have to put a lot of fins at the bottom. Okay, now the center of lift is not horrible, but it's sort of offset because we've got fuel tanks over here. Maybe we can... Uh, it's tough to get that right. Okay, engine-wise... Well, this is a very big engine for this purpose. I guess we'll try the compact engine because it is, in fact, compact. Having just PVC parts. Oh, uh, I've lost the do-it-yourself. What's Where's the structural part that isn't a PVC part? Oh, the stool. I can't do the trash part at the same time. Right. Uh, let's just get rid of the PVC part thing. Gosh darn it. Uh, yeah, that, sh that would require a whole other rocket, and I'd rather do the space waste, which is a viral thing, than the trash parts. Ah, I forgot about that. Okay. Uh, then the PVC part one, which is just a rare one. What else can I do? Smart. Well, that's for beating a specific thing. And that we can't do. Mannequin and combining it with ten other parts. Well, we'll try that. At least we can track it this time. But it's not one of the you know, smart or aspiring things. But I guess you've got a lot of aspiring already. I hope it doesn't mess it up. I mean, obviously it's not gonna be an aspiring thing. Okay, well, back to the drawing board. 
we don't know exactly what Tag's dress up is. Maybe it's aspiring. Is it smart? I somehow doubt it's either. Mannequin. Ten other parts from other sets. Well, uh, we just need a trash part. We don't need only a trash part. Let's go ahead and pick up the previous rocket. Which I think had the right plumbing, so... It is professional. Yeah. It can certainly get to the Carmon line. It's too much, though. But we can just shut it off. Okay, we'll throw in the stool. We will also throw in the mannequin. It'll have a bit sticking. Uh, uh, you know, we really need it to not leave this time, though. Maybe we'll put it lower. And we will protect it from the airflow. I don't know. It always falls out. Combining with 10 other parts from other sets, right? I mean, we've definitely got 10 parts. Well, let's just combine parts and see what might be required. 10 other parts from other sets. I'm gonna put a star tube cap. Put a toy there. At what point is it gonna be happy with this for dress up? Maybe it requires it the parts on the mannequin? I don't know. Hmm. I'm not feeling like dress up is gonna work for us. Let me just put the mannequin on the side and see. Yeah, I, I, I'm not feeling like dress-up is even a thing I can do. Okay, well we'll need another tag then. I guess we'll just go with something uncommon. We haven't used many uncommon tags, so we don't know what they do. Spending five seconds pressing buttons to control a swivel. We've sort of done that before. It's tough to track it though, whether we're actually going to be successful or not. But we've got a swivel on anyway. So alright, we'll try this in control one. But the only one that we can be sure of is the... ...is the professional one. At least that's on there. We'll shut it off at 100 kilometers and then that will be okay. So, yeah, at least we know the rocket works already, so, let's see. I tried to do something different. Okay, so I have to control the gimbal for like five seconds for it to be happy with that other challenge. Okay, go. Boom. Oh, uh, control gimbal. Oh, something fell off, something fell off. I'm pretty sure I've controlled the gimbal for more than five seconds now. I think I can shut off the engine. Okay, we're past 100 kilometers, let's see. Got several viral tags, it says. Okay, we did get Space Waste. Um, professional. Blackbird, we got Blackbird. And what was the other one? It doesn't look like it uh, accepted my gimbling of the engine as sufficient. But, uh, I mean, the creepy one, I don't want the creepy one though. Because that might bust my aspiring tag slew. Got a weird for the truck fuel tank. I'll, I have to save skeleton for something else for when we really want to do creepy. I think we'll just go with the weird truck part usage. Mega aspiring. Well, not as good as the last one, but still 1.7 million. 
Okay, we're getting there. Maybe, maybe one more sequence of things. Maybe we'll get to the creepy one. Yeah, I think I'll save that for the next time though. So maybe one more video to get to the ultimate engine. Uh, but I have exhausted my aspirations for this <laughs> video. Uh, we have done enough aspiring launches and we'll see what I can do next time. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time.